Starting with SkyTrack version 183, there's a new feature that allows you to import a horizon file. In previous versions, you could define your horizon or what your viewing limits are for each cardinal direction. So in my case, my observatory walls are around 20 degrees, and then to the north I have uh, both a tree obstruction and sort of northwest is where my observatory roll-off roof rolls back, and uh, so I have a bit of an obstruction there. But now we can define a horizon file, so we would uh, edit the site, you'd browse to your file, it's going to end in this uh, horizon extension, and then we would click enable. If we don't have that enabled, then SkyTrack will default back to these values here using the uh, older method for defining your horizon. But when that's enabled, and when we go to the sky map, we can now see what our viewing limits are. So anything in the uh, gray area now is going to be um, visible on my site. If it's in the black here, that means it's behind an obstruction. So if I go to bright stars, so anything that's uh, highlighted in green is going to be visible. In the uh, pink or light red color, it's going to be below my viewing limit. So I know if I click on anything green, you can see the green dot here indicating where the object's located. I know that's going to be in a light gray area as I scroll through there. And as soon as I hit the pink objects, then I know that it's uh, underneath what my viewing limits are. Same thing is true for satellite tracking. So if I go to an object that, that's just about to come up, we can see it's just coming into the uh, the gray area there. And likewise, something that's about to uh, be loss of signal, it's now coming out of the gray area into the black area. So this file looks like this. So it's a text file, so you can just create it in Notepad if you're going to create it manually. And this just pairs of coordinates, the first value being the azimuth, and the second value being the elevation. They can be separated either by a comma or a space. And if you want to put in comments, you just have to precede it with a hash sign or a pound symbol. Uh, a useful little application that's available free online is a, an app by Ryan Kinnett. And it, it runs on uh, Apple phone or Android and uses the camera that uh, helps you to record what your uh, limits are. First thing you have to do is put in your magnetic declination. In my case, it's going to be mag uh, minus 10. And that's just in degrees the difference between magnetic uh, north that your phone detects and what true north is. And the screen looks like this. So you just have these crosshairs here, and then you aim them around what your viewing limits are, and then you click this uh, blue plus line to record a value. So in this case here, I would record one here, I'd point there, 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 over there, and down along here. So you do a complete circle around um, from where you're going to be viewing, and it'll create a file and that looks something like this. And in fact, this, uh, this was produced by that application. Um, and then I, I added in some comments after just to, to say what those little bumps or obstructions are for me. So again, that, that's just loaded in then. Uh, you define here which um, horizon file you're going to use. And for each different site, you can specify a different uh, horizon file. So I hope that's useful. I know some, some people have very uh, challenging sites with a lot of obstructions, and this will make better use of your time because you're not going to try to go to something that's uh, obstructed at your particular site.